Excuse me. Guy, there's a um, messenger outside of the letter, but he's insisting he gives it to the Lord of the Manor in person. Is it from Lady Marion? No, he says it's from the King. The King? So where is it then? Well, he was here a minute ago. He thought Robin was still Lord of the Manor. Maybe he found out he wasn't and ran off. And what fool told him that? It's not a secret, is it? Get after him, I want that letter. Yeah. He won't get far. He's only on foot. Huh? Hey, guards, come on. Happy birthday, Gisborne. Party going well, is it? We've got a problem. Just give us a letter, we'll let you go, right? No! Give us the message from the king. It's from Robin of Luxley in his eyes only. Just give it to me or we'll take it from you. Don't you know it's rude to read other people's mail? By the time you get close enough to use those swords, you'll be so full of arrows you'll look like hedgehogs. <laughs> so, this is what Gisborne's dog's body does, is it? Not his dog's body. I'm his right-hand man. Oh. I couldn't face myself in the morning if I was you. I count my money in the morning. While you two are squabbling, there's a man in agony over there. Run back to your master. Go on. Go on! Run! Do you practice little speeches like that? Like what? You'll be so full of arrows you'll look like hedgehogs. No, it just came to mind. You practice, don't you? No. Robin! I know you. Save your strength. Lardner! Lardner! It's the royal seal. It is from Richard. <laughs> so, what are they, Gisborne? They'll be here. Woodcock! Sir Guy, birthday treat. Shall I get started? If you must. No men. I'd better get to him before Robin does. He wants reinforcements. He wants more men. I mean, he still has no idea. He has no idea what's happening in England. The message you sent with Carter, 
can't have reached the king yet. Well, many a courier get intercepted. I mean, the proof of that's right here in front of you. He wants me to send a note back with, with Lardner, telling him how many men I can recruit and when I'll arrive. Well, you can't do that now, can you? But this... This isn't Lardner. This... This is McClellan. This is Lawrence McClellan. Well, then who's Lardner? <laughs> Richard the Lionheart, they call him. Now, going into battle in a foreign land, it's not the heart of a lion you want, is it? Huh? Since when did a, a heart hurt anybody? Huh? Come on, then. Come on. I've got the heart of a lion. <laughs> You can imagine the Saracens translating that, can't you? <laughs> He's got the what of a lion? The teeth? <laughs> the jaws? <laughs> the claws? <laughs> no! The heart! <laughs> Richard the Lion Claw? Jerusalem's yours. Come in, sit down, help yourself. <laughs> lion heart? <laughs> <laughs> Good, very good. Forget about it. It's no wonder it's taking so long over there, is it? <laughs> mind you, mind you. It's better than his brother, isn't it? Prince John. What's Prince John doing? Sitting at home, heart of a dormouse. Prince John is a friend of mine. It's a joke. It's what I do. I do other things. Let's try some soothsaying. Sit down, sit down, sit down. I'll make some predictions and then I'll make them come true. Someone in this room will bear their buttocks to the sheriff tonight. Take that man to the dungeons now! No, hang on. Prediction two. Sir Guy's joint will rise from the dead. What's that supposed to mean? Your woodcock, Sir Guy. I can bring it back to life. Get rid of him. No, you like my third prediction. It's about Prince John. One day, Prince John will be King of England. I know that already. But did you know that there's something in Nottingham that can stop him? Like what? Lardner's ring. What is Lardner's ring? Well, let me go and I'll tell you. Lock him in the cell overnight, flog him in the morning, and then he'll tell us. Now that really is funny. <laughs> <laughs> you should listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> ah! The first prediction. I told you, and the others will follow. Beware the power of Lardner's ring. What is Lardner's ring? I know I'm meant to be loyal and obedient, but the king doesn't know the facts. And once he does, he'll return home. And this is no time for you to go back to the Holy Land. We're agreed, then. Absolutely. Would you like to say a few words? Go on, then. Will you marry me? What? <gasps> the first time I held my bow, I knew it felt right, like it had been made for me. <sighs> and that's how I feel about you. I promised your father I would protect and look after you. But it works both ways. I look after my bow because it protects and looks after me. Together we're stronger. <sighs> so. Robin, of every single man in the world, 
You are the only one. Well, is that a yes? Will you let me finish? <sighs> I'm sorry. The only one who would propose over a fresh grave by comparing me to your weapon. Well, is that a no? Who will give me away? I can ask the king. So we find Lardner and bring the king home. Defeat the sheriff. And we'll get married. Well, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> What's that? It's a dove. Well, I've seen it all now. Here, why'd you keep a bird in your pocket? Why'd you keep a worm in your pants? <laughs> you should keep an eye on that belt of yours. Where is he? Uh, he's dead. What about the message? Well, we got part of it, yeah. But Robin turned up. Turned up! And got his message? I don't know. Look, he kind of took us by surprise. All we heard him say was Lardner, that was it. Lardner. I blame you for this! You had him on your doorstep and you let him escape! You and your imbeciles! Six legs against one! And the one got away! You know, McClellan and the fool spoke together, so something was said about the Ring of Love. No, it's got some kind of coded description on it. It's no problem. We'll just torture the fool until he tells us. He's disappeared. Find all that, you blithering oaf! Known or heard of anyone or anything called Lardner. Lardner's ring, what is it? What is it? Oh. Tell us where it is, or we will take every ring in this village. Must be some kind of ring tax. Oh. Alan, with them. You've had your chance. No! Lose the ring me. or lose the finger. Somebody what? knows where Lardner is. Somebody. Did you say Lardner? Does that mean something to you? I don't know anything. So, when the sand runs out, the finger comes off. Watch. When we were in the Holy Land, do you remember anybody called Lardner? No. Why? Because I have to find him. Where's, uh, where's Will and Jack? They said they've gone to get some honey. They'll be back soon. That's what they've gone for. But why does it need two of them, hmm? Honey is one of those things. <laughs> what things? But what do you call it when you use a sweet, innocent word, but what you really mean is something else? A lie. No. A euphemism? Euphemism. Exactly. Yes, there's a bit too much honey going on around here, if you ask me. Will and Jack nipping off together. You two going for long walks in the forest. He's jealous. 
Well, what happened to fighting for justice and rebelling against the sheriff? We should be sticking together. Instead, we're splitting into couples. To be perfectly honest, I don't fancy mine much. <laughs> anyway, while well, you two have been off gallivanting, we've had to... We uh... haven't been gallivanting. I know what you've been up to. We've been burying a corpse in the forest. Is that a euphemism? Speak now and spare this woman's finger. Say nothing. Your silence proves your guilt. Can we risk it? Hmm? Yeah, we have to. Nothing. I'll take him the long way round, lead him away from camp. Stop! I know who Ludler is. And I know about his ring. Let the woman go. You're in Robin Hood's gang, aren't you? Let the woman go! Now, tell me about Lardner. You'll have to catch us first! Get after us! Day, this is. Oh, it was. Robin. What's happened? It's Gisborne. He's a Loxley terrorizing the people. What? He's searching for Lardner's ring. Ah. Gisborne, the gullible. Got something to show you. First you see it, then you don't. There it is, and there it isn't. Yeah, what's your point? <laughs> How did you do that? Oh. You simply pull up on the handle here, the claw grabs hold of the bird, you lift up the lid, bird's gone. The cooked bird has been hollowed out, you put a live dove inside it, and then la di da di da plate full of bird's wings. Hmm? You're fool. He's no sorcerer, he's no soothsayer, and he cannot predict the future. It was right about Lardner's ring, though. Bring him in! Back home, my uncle had a friend, the Sultan's official pigeon handler. Wait, he handles pigeons? Yes, he handles pigeons. Job, I suppose. <laughs> it's a very important job, much. Now, the Sultan's very best pigeon, the smallest and quickest one, was a pigeon called La Daner. Right. Right. Does he have a ring? And if he does, what's so special about him? The Saracens use pigeons to carry messages. They put the message on a little ring tied to the bird's foot and then they let it fly off. It doesn't matter how far away the bird is when you let it go because it will always find its way home, carrying the message with it. But it isn't their home they're searching for. It is their mate. All you have to do is split the two of them up and a pigeon will carry a message to the ends of the earth faster and straighter than any man ever could. Just to be with the one they love. So we could get a message to King Richard halfway across the world in... in no time at all? A matter of days. <laughs> well, that's incredible. <laughs> My question is, why is the Sultan's best pigeon 
being used by King Richard. Well, maybe they formed an alliance or something. Or maybe King Richard and his army have helped themselves. If they've got Ladener, they've got the Sultan. And if they've got the Sultan, they've got everyone. We have to go back to the tree. So that's what he had in his box. And the only place he could have left it is up that tree. You made me sick, you know that? Betraying your old friends. Oh, I hope you're enjoying it, Alan. I can live with myself. Oh, well, you won't have to for much longer, you see. The penalty for being in Robin Hood's gang is... <laughs> right, well, I'm glad I could have been of service. I think my work here is done. Could I go now? You can go, of course, with him to the gallows. Hang them both! And feed their carcasses to the birds. Come along. Yes, but no time to lose. No, please, have mercy. Don't let them do this to me. Hey. I do comedy. I don't do tragedy. Please. What will see a new swing will be comedy, won't it? Very good. Oh. If Robin gets the bird, it means the king knows our plans. And the last thing we need is the king and his army coming back to England before we're ready for them. So, we must catch the pigeon. Catch the pigeon now. But if we wait for Will, then we can, we can all go together. No, we have to go now. Come on! And if Alan returns with more men? Yes! John, if they knew where Lardner was, then they wouldn't have terrorised the village. Now, we won't be long. Work on the message till we get back. Now, give me the rope. Good luck. I think a bird could fly that distance and still find its way home. The dove found its way back to Noah's Ark. How do they do it? They just follow their hearts. Won't be long. You take your time. No rush. Do you think that contraption's strong enough to hold the two of us? Last a lifetime, that will. <laughs> At least your lifetime. <laughs> I could do your job. I couldn't do yours. Right. 
He could just wait until it's dark and then release the bird. It'll be done before nightfall. Come home. No, no needs, uh, needs more immediacy. Come home now. Come home immediately. What's the matter with now? Immediately's better. Immediately's longer. What? A lad knows a pigeon, not an eagle. More words, more weight. It's one word, same as now. Well, then use no. Too many cooks! You know, traditionally, men in your position offer men in our position a last request. I don't know the tradition. It's just a little thing. Would you scratch my nose? I've got an itch. Let the devil scratch it. You'll see him soon enough. It's the guy's got Robin Hood trapped up a tree. There are definitely available men down there now. Get your horses. Quick! One last chance. While no one's looking, let us go. We'll say no more about it, yeah? I'm a performer. I can't die without an audience. It's an insult to my profession. I told you to keep an eye on that belt. I mean, they don't know you're up here. If I make a run for it, they'll follow me. You can escape with Laden. They're coming back. Alan something to think about. Think about us. Running out of arrows. Look, look, they're retreating. I have an idea. Do not let them escape while I'm gone. I'll be dead by the time you get back. I won't hold my breath. Maybe you could use me as a hostage. What? But you know Gisborne's feelings for me. He might let you go if he thought it meant getting me back. Are you mad? I could say I was on my way home to him and, and you ambushed me in the forest. You never fall for it. And how would that look? Robin Hood takes Lady Marion hostage. Oh, yes, us dying together might look better. But it won't bring the king home. Even if Gisborne fell for it, the sheriff wouldn't. The sheriff's gone. Well, Gisborne's in charge. Robin, this could be our last chance. No! It's not happening. Robin. Have you got a better idea? Right. Your Majesty. No reinforcements. John plans to steal your throne. Plots. Plots is a better word. Plots is better. Your Majesty. No reinforcements. John plots to steal your throne. Come home. Now. Short, sharp, and to the point. I lad, make peace mm. before come home. Make peace immediately. Ah, yeah, you know, I do like immediately. But it needs more emotion. <laughs> make it bigger, raise the stakes, and alliterate. Alliteration makes it much more memorable. Where have you come from? I appear, I disappear. It's what I do. To tell how would spoil the illusion. Here's what I mean. Oh. I thought you'd been caught. Madam, Manacle's mere miss to myself and my... my mate. You know about the pigeon? Yes. Robin and Marion have gone to get him. Yeah, well, so have Sheriff and Gisborne. They've got them trapped up a tree surrounded. We need to go. No! Immediately! <laughs> OK, line up! You, over there! Let's get him down! Come and line up! Saddle me up another horse, make it a fast one. I'll be leaving shortly. It's just a matter of time now, and start saying your prayers. If they come any nearer, they'll get the same, and I won't be aiming at their feet! Give me your arrows. It's not enough. 
Well, they don't know that, do they? Ready? Yeah? Move! I'll scream. Then I can say you were holding me hostage. You didn't scream earlier. He's not stupid. I'll deal with this, Marion. It'll take them hours to cut down this tree. And in that time, the gang will realise something's wrong. Yeah? They'll come and help. Come, come. Sit stop. I can't hear an axe. What are they waiting for? You know what that is, don't you? It's pitch. It burns hot and it burns fast. Go. Much, I think it's this way. You think? Shh. I don't mean a shush. We're looking for a tree in a forest. Shut up and listen. I hope you're ready, Hood. I'm sensing it's that way. You tried to cover me in pitch once, Hood. Do you remember? Tried to cook me alive in my own armor. Yeah, I should have gone through with it. Talking trees are good, but burning bushes are better. And I don't see a trough of water for you to jump into. If I were bound and gagged, I couldn't scream. So all we have to do. No. There's no other way. <laughs> There's always another way. Shields! This is just putting off the inevitable. You've not gone back to him. I can do more good in the castle. Marion, I would rather die here than have you go back to... If you die now, my father died for nothing. Trust me. I'll get us out of this. No, you won't! Not without my help. We're in this together. Now tie me up. Right, listen to me. He's only got two choices now, run or burn. Either way, he's finished. And any bird that leaves those leaves dies in the sky. There are too many of them. What are we going to do? After three, open the shield wall. One. Two. Three! I found your weakness, Gisborne. If you harm a single hair on her head, I swear I will kill you. You will die more slowly and more painfully than any man has ever died before. Well, I thought that was the point. No. It would have been relatively quick and painless. You let me go, I'll leave her behind, untouched. I'll think about it. Everybody back! Move! No. <sighs> I bought some time. Any ideas? We need to make Robin and Marion disappear. <laughs> How do we do that? A puff of smoke. <laughs> Careful. Are you all right? I won't leave you behind. But we can make him think that I will. So now we can all see the famous Robin Hood for who he really is. A common coward using an innocent woman as a hostage. She's not an innocent. She's one of you lot. A pampered parasite living off the backs of the poor. It's nothing personal. You can't hide behind a skirt forever. Come down and fight like a man. Remove your soldiers, Gisborne, or she dies at sundown. Wouldn't do that, would he? He's bluffing. This is a siege. All I have to do is wait. Well, you can't wait too long, no? 
You know, as soon as the sheriff gets back, she's going to die. Ready? Let's go. Find the fire! Put it out! His men are in the forest! Right, surround the tree! Move! Make sure you can see the man on either side of you at all times! Right, close in the circle! Move in! I know what you're doing, Hood, and it won't work! We're ready for you! Ready and waiting! It's from Will. He's got a plan. Here. Here. It's right there. Good. Horses. You'll have to put your arms around me. No. I'm not coming. Marion, we haven't got time for this. Then go. Before they see the rope. We can both go. Now. I'm staying here until you get away safely. This is about Gisborne, isn't it? No. Inside us, we both know we belong together. And being apart will tear me apart, but I'm more use in the castle. I can protect you better from there. It's our only hope. Trust me. Give me a hand. No. Just give me a hand. Is this a trick? It's an engagement ring. <sighs> this afternoon we had a plan. Yes. Find Lardner and bring the king home. Defeat the sheriff and get married in that order, Robin. First things first. This isn't what I want to do. It's what I have to do. I love you. I love you too. Has Will got everything? Yes. Help! Somebody please help me! Robin's gone! Get after him! Do not let him release that bird! 50 pounds to the man who kills the pigeon! He's left me up here to die! Help me! Marion, I'm coming! Is it not ready? Yeah. Where's Marion? She's fine. Just get out of here and don't let that bird go until you're out of range, right?
cheer up. What have I got to be cheery about? Oh, we've got a visitor. Who are you? No, not him. Him. It's Lardner. Say hello. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> when you want something to disappear, the trick is to divert the audience attention. We switch the birds. I just happen to have a spare stuck up my sleeve. <laughs> Should have attempted to reverse the note, the decoy bird. Nah, would have just weighed him down. Um, yeah, speaking of decoy birds, is Marion all right with Gisborne? Yeah, she'll be fine. She can look after herself. Ah, well, hey, do you want to do the honours? At least we have some hope now. Yeah. Thanks to Lardner. Good luck, my friend. Safe journey home. <laughs> the sheriff's missing. Missing? Find him. Nottingham is about to be flattened. I don't think Robin Hood is the problem, but he might be the solution. Ask. Let no! me know. I make it the last thing we do. Who are you? I am the man with the plan. The sheriff is heading for the camp. It's time. Get those gates open! They're coming! They're coming! Archers back in action here on BBC HD next Saturday night at ten past seven. And more drama in high definition later with Chris O'Donnell in the company at 9.40. But next tonight, we'll take you flying in a jet fighter as we experience the forces that have shaped the Earth with the power of the planet.